What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 19 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In part 18 of this tutorial series, I have taken you through on the invocation of a respective lambda function using stage variable. And now in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how we can use versions and alias of a single lambda function and invoke them using stage variable, right? So here in this tutorial, we will be creating a new Lambda function and then we will create or publish a new version of that Lambda function uh, with some modification in the code base, right? And then we will map those version or the published version with the alias name, right? So that's what uh, we are going to do. So as you can see on my screen, uh, we have gone through this diagram in the previous tutorial that is part 18, right? Two things which are highlighted. So that basically depicts that uh, we are going to modify those things uh, in this tutorial, right? In order to invoke uh, different Lambda versions uh, using stage variable, right? So here uh, we are going to delete this lambda function we can say or we will leave it as it is instead of these two lambda function we will create a new lambda function so let me copy and paste it over here right and then uh, we will create or publish two version of this lambda function that will be dev and prod right so for example version one will be uh, dev for example and version two of this lambda function will be prod, right? So dev and prod can be the alias name of the given version, right? So apart from the lambda function part, uh, we will also modify the uh, backend lambda integration. So uh, that is basically over here within integration request, right? So here we are going to modify this lambda function, right? Apart from that, uh, we also need to modify the stage variable because uh, if you remember, then we had two stage in the previous tutorial, right? So that is dev and prod. And within each of the uh, stage variable uh, for the respective stage, we were passing function as a key and lambda name as a value, right? So that's our stage variable basically. So here uh, function or a key will remain as it is. And instead of Lambda function name as a value, we will be passing the alias name or the published version of the Lambda function in order to invoke respective Lambda function for a given stage, right? So that's what we are going to modify. It might uh, sound a little bit confusing at this point of time, but as and when we will uh, start implementing, uh, you will get the clear idea. So that's uh, the very high level uh, that I wanted to take you through uh, through this diagram, right? And rest of the components will remain as it is. So basically we are going to reuse uh, the components that we have created in the part 18 of this tutorial series, right? So now we will start with the Lambda function. So navigate to Lambda management console. And once you are there, click on create function. So uh, we might use or we can use the Lambda function uh, that we had created earlier, but I don't want any confusion to occur, right? So that's the reason we are creating a new Lambda function, right? So give a function name, I will say stage version Lambda, right? I will select runtime as Python 3.8 and within permission, I will select use an existing role and that's going to be Lambda API gateway role. And once you are done with this configuration, say create function. Now, once the function is created, uh, we will modify this Lambda function. So for example, I will say hello from uh, production instead of Lambda, right? And I will save this Lambda function. Now let's suppose that uh, this is the full code base that I want to use it in the production, right? So here we have multiple function. We are just assuming, right? So 
in my case i just want to use this hello from production uh, in the prod stage right and i want to modify the same base code uh, to add some more feature and that could be under development stage right so how we can achieve this so basically we can use lambda version right so for example uh, you can publish a new version of a function for beta testing right without affecting the users of the stable production version right so these are all versions so let's see an example we had considered this as the uh, production backend integration so click on actions and say publish new version right give the description if you want uh, maybe i will say production so now here one thing you need to keep in mind that uh, this new version or publishing a new version basically saves a snapshot of the code right so the snapshot of the code that we have modified and we want it to be deployed or to be used as the production right and once you publish the new version you can't edit the new version code right so for example uh, if I'm publishing version one of this Lambda function, then I cannot edit that version one, uh, right? So basically I cannot edit the code base of that version one. So there will be always the latest version and the published version. And we can always modify the code base of the latest version. So keep that thing in mind. So now I'm saying publish. So now as you can see here, uh, it says stage version Lambda colon one so after colon the value specifies the version number right and each version will have unique url as you can see here right and now we have this code base and i will not be able to modify this code base right so now if we click on here version one here we will find two version that is version one that we have published recently and the latest version we can always modify the latest version right so now uh, let's move on to the alias so basically alias is the logical name of the lambda function which point to different version and as i said each version will have unique url right so basically uh, lambda alias is like a pointer to a specific lambda function version right so a user can access the function version using uh, alias ARN basically, right? So now uh, we will create the alias and we will point that alias to this version, right? So let's say click on actions, say create alias, give it a name. I will say uh, prod version one, right? So select the version uh, to which you want to point this alias. So I will say version one right and we will leave it rest of the things as it is and say create now as you can see uh, the arn has been modified the name of the lambda function has been modified so now it says name of the lambda function colon prod version one right so earlier it was colon one so basically prod version one is the alias of the version one uh, of this lambda function right so same way uh, we will publish another version we will say uh, dev version one right so click on this alias prod version one click versions and select latest right so as i said we can always modify the latest version of this lambda function right so now here instead of hello from production i want to return hello from development right and i will save this again we will follow the same procedure so we will click on action we will say publish a new version give a description if you want i will say development stage basically and i will say publish so now as you can see we have stage version lambda as colon 2 that depicts the version 2 of this lambda function right and now we can create the alias saying dev version one and we will point that alias to this version two right so now click on actions say create alias 
give it a name i will say dev version 1 select the version to which you want to point so that's version 2 right and finally we will say create so now if you look over here within alias we have two alias that is dev version 1 and prod version 1 and we have two version that is published and plus one that is latest right so now uh, we are done with this uh, versioning thing uh, within this lambda function and now the second step is to modify the lambda or the backend integration of this method right so we will move on to api gateway so this is the same api gateway that we have created in the previous tutorial right so navigate to resources uh, select the method so in my case it's get click on integration request now here uh, within lambda function click on this pencil mark now here to invoke certain alias or certain uh, version of the lambda function we have to give the uh, lambda function name colon followed by the alias name or the version name right so the structure will be uh, let's copy this function name first so the structure is going to be the lambda function name so that's stage version lambda in my case colon followed by the version right so if you want you can edit this function you can put it something like version or alias right i will leave it as it is so it's going to be stage version lambda colon the alias name right so for example if we pass on prod version 1 uh, as a stage variable value then it will invoke stage version 1 lambda colon prod version 1 right so that will basically invoke uh, the version 1 of this lambda function so once you are done with the changes uh, click on this tick mark now again uh, we have to add permission so copy this go to aws cli paste it over here we have to replace the stage variable dot function now here uh, the lambda function name will remain as it is here we have to specify the alias right so if you want to invoke the given lambda function using alias then you have to mention or replace it with the alias name and if you want to directly use the version number so for example you want to invoke or add permission for version 1 then you can then you can directly specify one over here but uh, we will use alias right so it's kind of uh, user friendly so it's going to be prod version 1 say enter and again uh, we have to add another permission for dev version 1 right and say enter so now once you are done with adding the permission go back to api gateway say okay now you can go ahead and click on action and say deploy api you have to deploy the api for both the stage so that's dev and prod Now once you are done with the deployment, uh, go back to stages and select for example dev stage, navigate to stage variables. Now here instead of dev that is the lambda function name we have to pass on the alias. So within dev it's going to be dev version 1 and then click on this tick mark. Now select prod stage variables, edit this instead of prod it's going to be prod version 1 right so these are the alias name that we are passing that we have just created right and now once you are done with this uh, settings we can go ahead and test this invocation url so copy this navigate to postman paste it over here 
so stage followed by the resource that's going to be a get data now click on send so as you can see uh, we are receiving a message saying hello from production and now if i go ahead and change the stage from prod to dev and if i say send then it's returning hello from development right so this is how uh, you can use single lambda function for different purpose right so in our case it's development and prod so now let's go back to lambda function and let's select the latest version right so now for example uh, this code is uh, ready for production right ready to be pushed to production so let's say uh, ready for prod, for prod right and let's save this now we want to use this version or this lambda function or this snapshot of code as the production right so what we can do is we can click on action say publish new version say publish now we can create an alias say create alias i will say prod version 2 select the version uh, that's going to be 3 right now here we have another option saying you can shift traffic between two version based on weights right so so you can select the version uh, where you want to split the traffic right so for example i want to split the traffic between version 2 and version 3 so i can mention the ratio here so i can say 20 percent of traffic should be using the version 2 lambda function and 80 percent of traffic uh, should be diverted to the version 3 of this lambda function so right now we will say none and we will say create right now we can go back to api gateway select the prod deployment stage and we can edit this now instead of prod version 1 we want to send the traffic to prod version 2 right and let's save this now before we go ahead and start testing or invoking the api endpoint we have to make sure that uh, we had given necessary permission right so we have to add permission so now instead of dev version 1 uh, we will say prod version 2 say enter it says oh okay now once you have added the permission we can go back to postman and test it right so i will say prod over here and i will say send now as you can see uh, we are getting the response from the latest uh, published version uh, or the latest alias right so that's ready for prod so this is how you can use the version and alias of the lambda function along with the api gateway right so well that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial right and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time